Once again, welcome and congratulations on not taking any inappropriate action and kicking off that destructive cycle once again. Perhaps the first thoughts of people trying to give up alcohol are, I never feel the same again. Life won't be worth living. What will become of me? Which begs the question, why do people drink? Why do you want to drink right now? While travelling the world attending, attending conventions, I asked thousands of people this question. Without exception, the answer I received was to make me feel better. I only had to look at the despair and torment on the faces of these people to know that drink no longer fulfilled its intended purpose. The deadness in their eyes told me that they had long since stopped living. Alcohol had simply veiled their problems temporarily, but like the eye of a hurricane, the brief reprieve was followed by a powerful force that swept through their lives, leaving a trail of devastation. What these people sought was a permanent way to feel better. Removing alcohol alone wasn't going to achieve this. Imagine if there was an antidote capable of instantaneously flushing their bodies with happy or calming chemicals, with no side effects and free of charge. If such a thing was available, alcohol would surely become redundant. Well, guess what? There is such a thing. An intrinsic energy that is not only capable of transforming the way you feel at will, but also capable of determining your state of health. This magical panacea can be found in the formless domain of your mind, your thoughts. The way in which you interpret and process experiences produces either life-enhancing or life-denying chemicals in your body. Your body is a phenomenal pharmacy capable of producing innumerable chemicals naturally. These chemicals alter the balance of your cells and determine your physical state. Some instill good feeling and well-being while others produce disease and negative feeling. Most importantly, both states are invoked by choice. Alchemists are adept at changing negative thinking into a mode of thought that produces feelings of well-being and inspiration. I can assure you that you can surpass any good feeling you have attained by drinking simply by mastering your thought processes. Every day I have waves of natural highs that are produced purely by hooking into positive thought patterns. Feelings are choices that transpire from thoughts. To change the way you feel, change the way you think. Just for now, just try to calm yourself down somewhat. If you analyse your thought processes, you will find that you are either worrying about the future or dwelling on the past. There is a time and a place to process and release the past. And there is also a time and a place to plan for the future. However, right now, the future and the past are the source of our worry may be the source of your worry. So let's take a lesson from Buddha. Do not dwell in the past. Do not dream of the future. Concentrate the mind on the present moment. And let's take another wise phrase. The past is behind, learn from it. The future is ahead, prepare for it. The presence is here, live it.